Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this video, we are going to try the direct landing script that Dimitri put together. So far, we've tried five times and have failed five times. But I feel like with each, uh, each attempt, you know, I'm obviously learning a little bit more. So let's go ahead and switch camera views here and jump back into our flight. So let's go ahead and view our flight record. I'm recording this video immediately after the fifth attempt. So this is now the sixth attempt. And yeah, again, we've had uh, five attempts, four crashes, and we suffocated one time. Let's go ahead and play our intro, because it's interesting to watch. So there's our direct landing. I like how he put that together, that's really cool. And I think the idea, ultimately, is that you would actually do one burn and go all the way to the landing pad without any interim messing about. Uh, that's going to be a while before we get that, before we're that... Um, Far along with our skill to be able to do such a thing. Gear up. All right. So yeah, we've lost uh, pressure. We can time warp through it a little bit just to speed up some of the animations there. All right. So again, you know, I feel like we can't mess around. We have to jump into it. So let's open the retro doors. Let's uh, shift escape left, shift escape right, and and I'm and I do feel like this interplanetary method is a good way to go. So we're going to bring that up. We're going to target Brighton Beach. And we are going to go into the old program so we have more data. And again, zero, one of these days, we'll use a scenario editor, put a vessel on Brighton Beach so we can get that exact altitude. But for now, I don't think it matters. So we tried negative 0.5 last time. Let's try negative 0.4 this time. Let me do a quick pause, and so I'm going to, I'm, I'm using this spreadsheet to log my stuff, so as I, as I do each flight, you know, I can maybe determine a better time to begin the burn, and last time I paused and figured out this information at 500 kilometers, but I'm, I'm I think I'm going to go to 400 kilometers this time, and now we need to figure out how much time are we going to put in for our re-entry time? We're currently paused so we can think about it. So uh, once again, um, 1800 seconds is a half hour, 2400 seconds is 40 minutes, 3000 seconds is 50 minutes. So if we put in 3000 seconds, that would leave us six minutes and 47 seconds to land. And I can't, I think I did 2800 last time, I can't remember. Um, Let's try, let's try 2,900 this time. So let's unpause. Let's go into our re-entry time. Let's try 2,900 and let's burn it. So page over, burn. Is there anything else we need to do? No. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna put in that numbers now before I forget. So we're going to do a 2,900 second. Now, of course, that re-entry time will differ because the the uh, the amount of time that we have remaining varies from flight to flight. Why is that taking so long? Okay, this might be a complete fail right from the start because did I mess something up here? I guess it's just taking that long to get settled. That's weird. I've never seen that before. We should have done that manually. All right, so maybe as part of our process, we will plan on doing that manually because that ate up precious time and wasted DV. All right, so let's bring up map on this side and we'll target Brighton Beach. And once again, sort of just as a challenge to myself, I'm always trying to figure out where the center is at. Let's try, let's try right there. So zoom, 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 and still didn't get it. It's pretty close though. And zoom, zoom. All right, so we're pretty close. You can see there's a little bit of discrepancy there. So let's go into translation and 
see if we can align that. And I, I find that usually pressing 2 on the numeric keypad is the one that usually works. So that's what I'm starting with, and it's worked again this time. All right, so now we don't have that time crunch that we did uh, that we did prior to doing our pri our first burn. So we can relax for a second, breathe, and think. Um, but really, the next order of business, uh, well, actually, the next order of business is our com nav. So it's one sixteen twenty, I think. And 132 something. So let me just, I think it's 132.60. Let me just check. So where's Brighton Beach at? So there's Brighton Beach. So 116.30, we were close. 132.20. All right, so I was pretty close. So 132.20, that's where I got the 20 from. And then 116.30. So I guess if I do this flight enough times back to back to back, I'll get those memorized. And and again, I think you, if you have GPS VTOL installed, it probably is worth uh, targeting Brighton Beach here as well. Um, all right, so that's that's our stuff set up. All right, retro doors are open. Go ahead and switch over to the vertical speed, and we're just going to set this for like two point negative two point five or something like that, so that if we actually do get in the right area, we can just quickly press hover hold. All right, now I think we're ready to warp time forward. So let's warp time forward, and let me bring up my camera. And I think if I go previous, previous, yeah. So there's our back camera. And let's go retrograde. A little bit of time warp to speed that up. And come out of time warp, turn off the retrograde, and do a quick kill rotate. All right, now let's warp time forward and get down a bit lower. Okay, so about right here. So yeah, we're on target. There's the horseshoe. And we know Brighton Beach is like right around there somewhere. So as we move forward, this will continue to move over that way a little bit. All right, so let's think. All right, so I think the next thing I want to do is... All right, let me think here. So... All right, let's go ahead and bring up burn time calculator on this side. So we have the main engine selected and let's go down to that 400 kilometer point and we're gonna do what we did last time. Oh yeah, that feels like not enough time. I wonder if I put in too much time for the re-entry time. 12 minutes, mm, I don't know, we'll see. But let me go down to 400 kilometers this time instead of 500. And maybe even 300 could be better, but let's do 400 this time. And again, when we get close to that, we're going to go down to 0 0.1 time warp and pause. Well, we can't pause immediately, but... Okay, right. Now we're going to go down to 0 0.1. And I'm going to put in the DV for the ground speed, which is 36, 37, and pause. So we have no information because I typed something wrong. So let's unpause and try that again. DV 36, 37, enter, and pause. All right, so we have 257,028 uh, meters. 257,028 meters. Now I want to do the same thing for the vertical speed. So unpause, and vertical speed is 3182, and pause and we need 197,289 meters so let's put that in so 197,289 meters so somewhere between these two numbers is what we need so let's uh, switch back over here and while we're paused let's think so halfway in between those would be so it's about a 60 kilometer difference so if I added 30 kilometers 
to the bottom number, we would be just under 230 kilometers to begin the burn. Is that enough, or will we hit the ground again? So in the previous one, we started the burn at 220,000 meters, which was closer to the ground speed number, and we hit the ground. So that tells me we probably want to back up a little bit closer to the vertical speed number. So, you know, again, like if I just do a quick scratch thing here, D8 minus E8, you know, again, that's right about 60 kilometers. So then if I, like, take half that and divide it by two, you know, we're about 30 kilometers. So then if I say, you know, E six plus d7 and you know and then i'm saying like let's maybe begin the burn around 232 kilometers let me actually instead of doing that let me say let me take this copy it put it in up here as its own thing um Oh, I don't need the D7 anymore. Oh, I have an extra thing in here. All right, there we go. And then I want to take that value and add it to E8. So I'm saying, you know, if I begin the burn exactly halfway between the two points, it would be 227 kilometers. But is that a good idea? I think, so that's like the 50% point. You know, it's like halfway between. Maybe we wanna go, maybe we wanna go a bit, maybe we wanna do a bit less than that. So closer to the vertical speed. So then if I take what I have here and I multiply it by 0.4, Think about this for a second. So that's one, and if I did it by 0.9, that's 90%. And if I'm saying I want to be, so and if and if we did it like 1%, so f so halfway in between. I think I'm messing that up. Let me just check something really quick. So then, so that's, oh, I see what I'm doing. So that, that, that number there is already half. No, that's, that's the, yeah, cause I'm already, I'm dividing by two. All right, so yeah. So that's the full value between those two numbers. So then if I say, multiply that by half, that's halfway in between. And then if I do 0.4, that's 40%. So then if I take that value and add it to my E6, then now what I want to know is if I just do 1%, I should be, that's not right. I know what I'm thinking, but I'm just not doing it right. All right, let me back this up. Let me try this again. D6 minus D8 minus E8. That's the total difference between these two. And then if I were to add in E8, that should be exactly the same as that number, and it is. So that would be like 100%. So... Again, if I multiply that by one, yeah, then those will match. And then if I multiply it by 0.5, that should be halfway in between. 
and yeah, 227 seems like it's halfway in between. And if I multiply by 0 0.1, yeah, then that's like 10% higher than that number. And if I do 20%, okay, so this is, this is what I'm trying to do. All right, finally. So I'm going to start to burn it. 221 kilometers. It's a lot of messing about to figure that out. Okay. And then, you know, the next flight and the next flight, again, I can play with that value to figure out what would be a good percentage between here and here to do the burn. All right. Now, what are we doing again? So much spreadsheet stuff, I lost track. So 221 kilometers is when I want to begin the burn. <clears throat> so let's unpause. Let's go back to real time. And we're going to begin the burn at 221 kilometers. Let me think, though. Okay, so... Actually, I think I want to do 60%. Because I want to be closer to this number than this number. So I think I want to go the other direction, 60%. 233 kilometers, that's where we're going to begin the burn. Okay. Unpause. Take a sip of water, 233 kilometers. <clears throat> I think we did our breathy sounds. Yep. So when you have 10 minutes left, you're really, really running out of air. Make sure I turn on the retrograde autopilot. That'd be a huge fail to forget that. And what are we doing? 233 kilometers. All right. So just a few seconds left, we're almost there. 233 kilometers, that's the number we're going with, 233 kilometers. And burning, all right, burning the full power of the main engines. And even though it's gonna interrupt our sound, I'm gonna go ahead and warp time forward to get through this part. Because if we don't get rid of all of our vertical speed, it's a huge fail, so we can at least warp time forward through that. Okay, we're almost at the end, a little bit more. We're still okay on altitude. A little bit more. How are we doing on fuel? We're okay on fuel for now. I think we're gonna run out of fuel though overall. So once our vertical speed is down to zero, we're gonna kill the main engine. We're gonna go to level. And we're almost at zero. Kill level. And let me quickly select over to my comm nav. And off on just so I can get that up there. VORVTOL nav over. Okay, and we're falling. Oh man, we need to engage hover hold. Hold. Rotation. And we need to rotate towards the base. We're not going to have enough fuel, I don't think. Okay, so that 60% was reasonable. And let's move towards the base. Translation. Translate over so we're on target. We have the wrong camera up. Let me select my forward camera. Okay, so we're a ways out. I feel like we do need to use some fuel to get there closer because we don't have to spend so much time hovering. And let's let's descend faster so that we're not using so much fuel to hover. And okay. Rotation. Translation. Translation. All right, so we're moving forwards. Question is, will we have enough fuel to land? It's exciting. Let's look at our down camera so we don't have to switch cameras at the last moment. And we'll zoom out a bit for now. Five minutes left, it's pretty tight. Um, I don't really want to spend any more fuel moving forward. I don't think we need to. Maybe we can take out some more here to descend a little bit faster. Rotation. Translation. Rotation. Translation. Okay, so we're three and a half kilometers out five minutes. Okay, we're probably going to need some more hover offset. 380 left on the 
on the delta V. Two and a half kilometers out. Put down the landing gear so I don't forget to do that. Four and a half minutes left. Two kilometers out, moving at 48 meters a second. One kilometer up, we're going to need more hover offset. 300 delta V left. It's going to be super tight. Uh, 1,000 meters up. Need some more hover hold. Boy, this is going to be super tight. Oh, I see the landing pad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Four minutes left. My heart rate's pumping. <laughs> okay, so... All right, let's take out the hover here. All right, so we're going to wait till we're pretty much right over the bay, right over the landing pad to take out that forward. Okay, a little bit more. And we're pretty much over the landing pad. I think we overshot just a little bit. Dang it. Okay. Translation. All right, let's take out hover. Oh, we have 200 delta V left. We're going to make it. 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 All right. Uh, 300. We're going to make it. Let me... 200. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to do that so soon. Okay. We are totally going to get this. All right, how much time? Two, three minutes left. 100 delta V. We're fine. We got this. We got this. 100. Sixth time is the charm. Is this six or seven? Two, Two minutes left. 100, me 100 delta V. 50. Slow things down a little bit more here. 40. Slow things down a bit more. We don't want to crash. We got 30. this. Landing gear's down, landing gear is down, landing gear is down, yes, yes, yes. 20. Okay, a bit more here. Ten. Got it. Two minutes left, come on. <laughs> Don't want to hit the ground too hard. Turn off this. Okay, all right, uh, turn that off and brakes. Uh, what do we have on? <sighs> yes! Oh man, what a thrill ride. Whew. One minute, 56 seconds to spare. <sighs> we did it. How many attempts? Six. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, let's view our flight record. You've made six attempts and have one success. In your best success run, you landed with 116 seconds of spare time. You have four crashes on the lunar surface and the crew suffocated one time. All right, we did it. All right, well, we're well past 20 minutes on this particular recording, so let me go ahead and wrap it up here. But I hope you enjoyed watching my success. That was such a thrill. Thank you so much, Dimitri, for putting this together. That was awesome. Check the description down below for links for how to get this and how to install it. And be sure to leave a like on the video. I mean, you have to, right? I, su I was successful. You have to like this video. Uh, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.